E and they hear. Squirrels are known for their ability in collecting and gathering fruit during the warm months to ensure they have plenty during the cold months. The squirrels of Bloomborough are no exception. They are experts in collecting and gathering food better than any other creature and this is depicted with a new mechanic. Forage. Forage is a keyword action that can be used as an additional cost. To forage, either exile three cards from your graveyard or sacrifice a food. But how do you play Forage? Let's build our battlefield and let's cast Torn Vault Forager for one and one green. 2-2. Two, two. Tap. Add one green mana. Tap. Forage. Add two mana in any combination of colors. Any creature, any squirrel with forage is a normal creature spell. Therefore, when casted, it will go on the stack. There can be a counter, there can be a response. Nothing happens and our forager will hit the battlefield. When able, I can tap my Torn Vault Forager and add one green mana. Or I can forage and add two mana in any combination of colors. As I don't have any food or food token and no cards in my graveyard, I cannot forage. Therefore, I can only tap for one green mana. Scenario 1. Forage sacrificing a food token. I'm going to tap my Torn Vault Forager and use its forage ability. To forage, I can sacrifice a food or exile three cards from my graveyard. I don't have cards in my graveyard, therefore to forage I'm going to sacrifice my food token. Sacrifice, tap and add two mana in any combination of colors. Scenario 2. Forage exiling three cards from my graveyard. Again I'm going to tap my Torn Vault Forager and use its forage ability. To forage I can sacrifice a food or exile three cards from my graveyard. I don't have any food or food tokens, but I have cards in my graveyard. Therefore, to forage, I'm going to exile three cards from my graveyard. Exile three cards, any three cards. Tap and add two mana in any combinations of color. If you have both cards in your graveyard and food tokens, you can choose which additional cost you want to use to forage. Some notes, unlike collect evidence found on spells in Murders at Call of Manor, Forage lets you exile any three cards from your graveyard irrespectively of their type or mana cost. You can sacrifice a food to both Forage and for its own ability to gain life. If an ability triggers whenever you Forage, it's looking specifically for the instruction to Forage. If you just exile three cards from your graveyard or sacrifice a food for other reasons you haven't Forage. In Bloombro, foraging is a squirrel related mechanic. You can sacrifice food tokens or any other type of food, even creatures. So that's how you play forage. It's an interesting mechanic for squirrels. Leave me a comment below what do you think about this new mechanic. And as always, subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the Collectible with Amount.